Today I brought home a dog from the shelter and she is in dire need of a bath. So I figured we'd go ahead and record it and along the way I'll give you a few tips as to the best way to give a brand new dog a bath. So I'm in the spare bathroom and we're gonna give this brand new rescue dog that we just picked up from the shelter a bath. Looks like this is the first time she's ever seen a camera too. So she's brand new to her environment. We're gonna make this as comfortable as possible for her. I literally just picked her up today and otherwise I'd give them a little bit more time for it before a bath, but she stinks, something fierce. A couple of tools for you. I got a Kong with some yummy peanut butter with no xylitol in there, just to give her something fun to lick on in the tub, some positive reinforcement. I've got my treat pouch as well with a couple of different treats for her in case she runs out of that. And I wanna give her a little extra love for being a good girl in the tub a towel to dry her off. I've got a mat for her paws when she comes out. And then I also have just a washcloth here, just a simple washcloth for her face. I actually like using baby washcloths instead because they're much smaller and it's easier to safely get around their eyes and ears. A couple of other tools that I have going on here. Just simple dog shampoo from Burt's Bees. It's an all natural shampoo. I picked an oatmeal shampoo for her. So I'm looking for no perfumes, just simple oatmeal shampoo because it looks like she does have some flea allergy dermatitis. So along the back here, you can see where she's all kind of brown from itching and scratching um, all the way down here. She's actually a fully white dog, but this is, as you can see, is just from scratching from fleas. So I want something that's really gentle on her coat and her skin, which is why I picked an oatmeal shampoo. So if you're looking for a shampoo like this, I'll put a link in the description for you so that you can pick it up as well. Yeah. And uh, the only other tools I have here really are a cup, because I'll show you how to wash with that. And then also I picked up this little gadget a couple of years ago. This is the Aqua Paw. It just affixes to the shower head at the top. Oftentimes, like a rescue dog, if she's never had a bath before and I want this to be a positive experience, you turn on the shower head and it just sprays out. Sometimes that can scare them. And you don't want their first experience to be a negative experience. So, got all my tools. We're gonna get everything set up. I'm gonna unstrap her because she's brand new. She's tethered to me. All new doggies get tethered. That's the best way to start building the bond. So let's get started with your bath before you fall asleep. As I'm turning the water on, I know it's a little bit loud, but I'm just gonna give her a little bit of reward when I turn that on, because it's a loud noise. I wanna get it to temperature first. You want it slightly warm, but just like you would test a baby's bath water, you wanna run it past your wrist, because this is a more sensitive area. So be sure to test the water on your wrist and see how that feels. All right, now it's nice and warm. This is gonna make a different sound, so when I click it over, I wanna have some reward for her as well. Come here, there you go, good job. All right, so now we have nice warm water running through the paw washer here. I'm gonna click it off for a moment. There we go. Now she's small. Oftentimes I'll encourage them to come into the tub if they're a larger dog with some food reward. I'll give them time to get acclimated, but she's tiny, so I'm really just gonna kind of pick her up and pop her on in. Come on, mama girl, come here. Up we go, good girl. It's a good girl. All right, good girl. Yeah. Okay, so let's pop this water back on here. It helps if you have somewhere that you can clip them to in the shower, but most people don't have anything like that. So you want to clip them back to yourself, to a hands-free leash, just something that they don't come flying out of the tub if they do get a little concerned about having a bath. So I'm just going to turn this on nice and slow, spray myself with it. There we go. Good girl. Thank you, kisses. I'm going to give her a little bit of peanut butter in this Kong. And just move this over her slightly. Good girl. You can see she's kind of unsure. She's not really sure what's going on. You want some more? Good. I'm just gonna gently comb her with it. Look at that. Good. And she's unsure, but she's not completely petrified. You wanna see that? Good girl. I can 
see that this is about to come off. This awful thing here. So this is a great idea. I'm really hoping they've improved their product. Girl. Now she has really short hair, um, but most dogs have a couple of layers to their fur. So you want to make sure you get all the way deep down. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time bathing her again because this is her first bath. So I'm just going to really get all the main dirt off to start. I'm not going to scrub her too much because I want to keep her just a little more comfortable and keep it a positive short experience for her where nothing bad happens. That's a good girl. Just going to massage her fur a little bit. She's a brand new dog. I'm going to go with the grain of her fur when I'm massaging her with a paw washer. Get under her belly. Good girl. Good boy. There you go. There we go. Good job. Now you notice I did not put this in her face. I'm completely avoiding her face at the moment. Because it's not fun to have water sprayed in your face. So we're going to use a washcloth to wash that. All right. Put that off for a moment. I'm pretty liberal with the shampoo. Yeah, yeah. Good girl. It's a good girl. That's tasty stuff. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty liberal with this just because I want to get a good lather. And as you can see, she's in pretty desperate need of a bath. She smells just as bad as she looks to no fault of her own. Now here, I'll just start massaging it in. Just get a nice, good, sudsy layer going. This is where um, a mitt comes in hand. They have the mitts that you can slide over your hand that have the kind of curry comb texture to it like this. And you can just really kind of rub it in or scrub it in. I'm just gonna use the, the top of the paw washer for right now to do that job that a mitt would do. Um, now, for dogs that have fleas or you have a concern with fleas, you always wanna start to the head and work your way all the way down the back. Reason being, they're gonna go to the opposite side. These little buggers are gonna run from the soap and such. Um, so you wanna, you wanna start at the head, or the neck rather, and work your way down with suds so that they're more likely to go towards the back and not towards their face. Good girl, she doesn't, massi she doesn't mind the massage at all. She likes this part. Here we go, good girl. It does help if you do this with two people at first. Maybe for those kids. That way one person can offer some positive reward. Let her continue to lick her calm. And the other person can focus on bathing. So I'm just gonna go lightly over her little feet right here. Again, she's a brand new dog, so I don't know how she is with handling her paws most of the time. So I'm gonna be pretty quick with that. I don't wanna push it with her. <laughs> she's being pretty cooperative. She's a pretty good girl. All right, I'm just gonna do once over their tail. Dogs can be pretty sensitive about their tails too, so just a quick once over for the most part. All right, just gonna rub it in a little bit more. Yeah, it's a good girl. It's a good girl. Down those little paws you've been licking. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and rinse her off. So again, same with starting the soap at the neck, we're gonna rinse from the neck as well. So if there are any leftover fleas or anything, we're gonna push them down away from her face. And I'm just gonna use this comb to get all this deep soap in her coat out. Just to show you for a sec, I'm gonna turn this off. Cup method is super simple. It's a little more difficult, of course, because you have to turn this on and off. But all I'm going to do is I'm going to pour this water and I'm just going to work it section to section through her fur to get the rest of that soap out. Just so I'm pushing it all in the same direction and making the most out of this small cup of water that I have here. The other thing, too, is when you use the cup method, you have to obviously check the temperature pretty frequently and make sure it's still okay. I'm gonna go back to the paw washer to finish her off. She's still got some soap underneath here. You wanna make sure not to leave any soap residue on the body whatsoever. Not only can it attract and hold dirt, but it can irritate the skin too. Last but not least, 
Hey, Mama. Thank you. Good. Still taking treats. I'm going to go ahead and do her face. Again, I'm going to keep this short and quick. She's a brand new dog. Keep it a positive experience. I'm literally just going to wet this washcloth down. Again, a baby washcloth works a lot easier. Thank you. You thirsty? There we go. Your little cuts on your head and your nose. So just a quick little wipe down. Rub one ear, see how she does with it. Rub another ear. Make sure if you rub in the ear with anything wet, you also rub in something uh, dry as well. All right, you're all done. Let's get you dried off. Good girl. Are you ready to come out? Hold on, let me back up one sec. With drying, same with washing. I'm going to start with the face up here first. Hold on, hold on. You get to go in a minute. This is ready to get out of this tub. I'm ready to get out of this tub. Yeah. Okay. Walk our way down. All right. Off we go onto the mat. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Okay. Shake it off. Shake it off. Good girl. Allow them to get a good shake in. Not only does that relieve or alleviate some stress, that's one of the ways they shake some stress off, but it'll help you, also help you in the, the drying process as well. Good girl. Good girl. We started with her paws just to get all the excess water from standing in the tub off. Body. Oh, does that feel good? Is that itchy? Oh, it has to feel good. Yeah. If you like this video, please let me know. Hit that like button and hit the subscribe and the bell notification if you want to see more just like it. <laughs> and this little girl is available for adoption at Charlotte Mecklenburg Animal Care and Control, but we actually brought her home to evaluate her as a potential service dog candidate with Operation Sidekick. So more to come as we pull more rescues and more tips as well. If you hit the subscribe and notification, you'll get those right directly to your YouTube feed. Thanks so much for watching me bathe our brand new Rescue dog.